What is this? Pause everything. I have to rig this. Hey hello everybody, welcome to Level Pixel Level. Today I just want to show you how I rig this Manfred Frank hinge. So here you can see the rig underneath the hood. It's just a couple of bones on these pivots here. And I am controlling the entire hinge action with one control. And this is what I want to achieve is to make this really easy for an animator if they ever want to use it. Or if this is on a more advanced like robot arm, it could be automated. Underneath the surface, it's just two IK joints here and here. And they're basically pivoting from right here down this chain and right here up this chain. What that allows me to do is just have this joint control the entire process here uh, to get that really cool hinge action. When I approach something like this, the first thing I usually do is I just add a new armature. And I'll add this bone down here, and this is just gonna be my root bone. So I'll just put this in world space, uh, just something like that. I'm gonna duplicate this bone for every other bone. So I usually flip to pose mode and just hit control R to flip the rotation mode to XYZ Euler. Now that I have this, I'll just add a bone for each of the other joints here. So I usually add one here, one here, one here, one here, and then I'm gonna add one down here as well too, just to hold this piece over here. When I'm placing joints, I like to use the cursor a lot. So I'll usually select on a piece of geometry like this, and I'll do Shift S and I'll do cursor to selected. Then on the rig, I'll go back to edit mode, do Shift S selection to cursor, and now that's perfectly on that pivot right there. If you can't find your pivot on a more organic character, you, would, you will have to sort of guess this and you'll get better at this over time. But for more robotic things like this, it works really well just for placing joints. So I'll go ahead and I'll just place all these joints that I want uh, using that same method. I'll do Shift S, Cursor to Selected, and I'll select a piece and just selection to cursor. So it doesn't take me too long to build that. And now that I have this, I'll probably just go through and I'll grab these two joints here, which are sort of like the master and I'll just parent them to the root. So in edit mode, I'll do control P, keep offset. So I have a fairly simple hierarchy here and I'm just gonna change this around a little bit. So I want this bone here, which is gonna be one of my IK controllers parented to this joint right here. So when this one moves on this pivot, it's actually gonna push this this way. The other main joint that I'm gonna change the parenting is this one here. I'm gonna parent to this bone right here. So that as this goes, it's actually going to provide the IK chain for this joint right here, and it's going to pull this with it, which is actually going to pull this as well, which is going to control this IK. So beyond the theory, let's just talk about how this is actually going to work. Before I even add constraints, you'll notice that all of my bones have a weird rotation. To fix that, I'll just go to edit mode. I could try to adjust the roll here, but instead I'm just going to select everything and do shift N and do um, global positive X. That's also here under armature bone roll, recalculate roll. I'm doing global positive X for this one. Okay, so let's parent these up. This one I said is gonna parent to here, I'll do keep offset, and this one is gonna parent to here, I'll do keep offset. So the next thing I'm gonna do is grab this one in pose mode, shift click on this and do shift control C to do an inverse kinematic constraint with a target. That'll make it for me right away. Now the chain length at default on an IK is at zero. And this is gonna go all the way down the parent structure from here to here to here, all the way down to here when it's gonna move. So you'll see it break. I'm gonna move this and it's doing some weird things and now it's breaking. That's because it has a dependency and you need to actually set that chain length to a specific target to avoid this. So I'm just gonna put this at two. What this means is that it's actually gonna go from here to this bone here because I'm doing two uh, bones in the chain length. Okay, let's do this one over here. So from here to here, I'm gonna do Control Shift C and inverse kinematics again. And I'll just flip that chain length to two again. So now when I rotate this on the y-axis, I'm getting a really nice uh, rotation there. But I forgot one thing, I've got to parent everything up. So I'll just grab all these pieces and just parent them to their assigned bone. It just doesn't take too long. I'm, and I'm just selecting on the object, I'm doing control P and then bone parent here. I'm doing a bone parent for this just to keep it light and easy to work with. If it was more of an organic arm, I might do a deformation with weight painting. I like to test a lot as I go just to make sure I parent it up and I've forgotten a lot of pieces here. So I'll just go through and make sure I have all those parented to the correct bone here as well too. Okay, everything's parented up now. And now for the final test, I can grab this and try just rotating on a one axis to get that really cool hinge. I'm zeroing this out as well too uh, by hitting Alt R or if I move it by hitting Alt G. Um, if I go to the item value here, you can see that I'm adding transforms to these pieces here. And if I do Alt R, it just zeroes everything out. And then Alt G will zero out the translation as well. Anyway, that's just my quick guide of sort of how to rig something like this just using IK. If you're interested in a video like this, let me know where I just sort of do an overview of how I've rigged this. 
I've also included a link in the description that's a step-by-step -step instruction of how I rig this. It's a bit more for beginners if it's something that you guys want to try out. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, be sure to check out my Patreon where I've been sharing some behind the scenes videos, some workflow tips, and just a little bit more in-depth content for how I'd build something like this and how I rig things in grease pencil, mechanical, and organic shapes. Big thank you to my patrons for supporting me in this video, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.